before we can move on to good old Justin Fields. Hey, we're, we're staying on topic pretty well right now. Let's hold our breath, everybody. Chat. Yeah. Ah. yeah. Two for two. Two yeah. for two. Two for two. Come on. Get fired up. Honestly, the reason I would transfer would be if I'm not getting acknowledged at all, if I'm working my butt off, then I'd get somewhere to get used to. I respect that, Omar, and I think that's a very well thought out response to, to transferring. Yep. I think it's different for everybody at the end of the day. And if you're conscious about the situation and you're evaluating it and you're looking at everything that's in play, I think that's the only advice I would ever give to anybody looking to transfer is really map out all the possible scenarios. Because again, the biggest thing that comes to mind is uncertainty. So yep. without further ado, Justin Fields, let me put him on the clock, just like I would anybody that were watching their tape. Four minutes, Justin, that's what you got. But really what we're talking about is we transferred from Georgia. We went to Ohio State, Max. And they mailed it in. Okay, we've already talked about it. Will the season happen? Will it not? But you're Justin Fields. You made a huge decision. You transferred. You're ready to rock. And ooh. I know. <laughs> Talk One, it sucks for him. I, uh, I I do respect he's taking the leadership role and in, in doing that for the Big Ten Conference and feels like college football to hold. But uh, Justin Fields, what's the next step? I think first step is – Find a way to get on the field. Obviously, that doesn't sound like it's happening. And then if I'm him, he is penciling, like, for sure right now as a top 10 pick, probably a top five pick, and likely the number, like, two or three pick right after Trevor Lawrence if the draft was tomorrow. So in terms of ceiling and where can you go from there and next step, like, the next step is just, all right, bro, like, leave for the NFL. That's kind of where I'm at. But in terms of progressing as a, as a quarterback – for me, I think the first half of last year, I watched Justin Fields and I was like, all right, this guy's a stud, but this guy's just more athletic and has a better arm and better talent around him than everyone else, and he's executing. Then the back half, I was like, all right, this guy's making moves in the pocket. This guy's getting to his third progression. This guy's getting to his check down. This guy's doing some stuff that's going to allow him to have success at the next level and beyond. And so for me, it's just leveling up on that. It's becoming a true owner of the pocket, a true owner of all the concepts. And I think at times, and this is not his fault, but this is just the product of where he's at at Ohio State, is he'll throw a fade ball to a guy that's like wide open. Or he'll throw a bubble route to a guy that makes a guy miss and goes long. And so his stats look gaudy. But, and, and so that's kind of my initial reaction. But when you dive deeper, he, do, he, is a, he is a surgeon. He's got a lot of talent. I think it's only a matter of growing from there. But to me, the next step's the NFL. If I'm being honest, if I'm a betting man, I'm saying Justin Fields does not play this year, and uh, he's on his way to the NFL, if I'm being frank. I love it. And uh, the one thing you're missing for a total Michael Wilbon take right here is giving a little shout-out that you know him. Well, actually, I know Justin yeah. Fields personally. Yeah. Talked to him a couple times. Either you know, I know him or some Chicago reference or something like that. <laughs> yeah, we crossed paths back in my day in, in Chi Town. Um, no, Talked to her mom last week. She came on the Game Time uh, Twitch stream or something like that. <laughs> exactly. No, but uh, real quick, just to just to make sure we're keeping the chat involved, Joey uh, JMC Guinness, who's also number one on the G Score leaderboard, he says Justin Fields is absolutely going to sit out for the NFL. That was Max's take. Obviously, we agree. Uh, and then William Wells, Justin is better than Trevor. Don't add him. Justin is better than Trevor. Interesting. Um, I'll double down on this. Chat, who knows Trey Lance in the chat? Who knows about Trey Lance? Joey, do you know who uh, Trey Lance is by chance? Educate me, please. He is the guy with the most unique stock. He go, He's uh, the number three quarterback right now. Goes to North Dakota State. Was like the FCS player of the year last year. And they're saying he's going to take a Jordan Love, Carson Wentz path uh, this year. And his team just scheduled a showcase game in the fall. One game in which, obviously, like, his stock is like, no one's really paying attention to him because he wasn't draft eligible last year. eligible last year. And then they're like, all right, now he's kind of the guy this summer. We'll see him this fall. His school cancels all their games. He's a guy that's like, you talk about the unknown guy of all unknown guys. He is a super interesting prospect to, to keep your name on. Chad, I'd be interested to see if any of you guys are following his name. But don't sleep on him as a little dark horse top 10 NFL draft pick at the quarterback position following the steps of Carson Wentz about four years ago. 
Chat, when he goes full digital, it's a hot take. <laughs> it's a hot take. You're not going to get takes like this anywhere else on Twitch. That's a fact. That's a fact. Hey, we're the biggest thing going on Twitch right now. Yeah. At, don't at me. Don't yes, at sir. me, William Wells. Don't yes, at me. Sir.